Okay, two ways to do this one. Let's do the first way, the, the easy, straightforward way. Okay, you have a solution here, and you have solution R, and we have solution S. Now, in the solution R and S, there's a liquid, which is liquid A. So liquid A, how much of liquid A is there? Well, in R, there's 8%, and in S, we have a total of 18%. Okay, so what are they asking for? Well, we're going to take a certain amount of this, and we're going to mix it with a certain amount of that. And then we have to find out what is the resulting mixture. Well, in this case, we're going to take 3, and what are they giving us here? Grams. They're giving us 3 grams of R, and they are giving us 7 grams. Of S, so you can just see intuitively that there's going to be there's more of S in here, so the resulting mixture is going to be closer to 18%. So just like that, we can get rid of A and B. Notice that B is right in the middle, by the way. It's 13%, which is in the middle of these two. Therefore, if I had three grams of R, three grams of S, or in fact any number where these two are equal, you'd get 13. But again, that's too low. Notice that E is just adding these together. But when you have mixture here, it can't you can't get above 18, you can't get below 8. Essentially, if you mix just a teeny, teeny bit, like 1 over 33 with, I'm just making that number up, with 7 grams, you would get something very close to 18. But again, the range is 8 to, 8 to 18, so we can get rid of E and D. And just like that, we get the answer C, which really makes things easy because we really didn't even do any math. But let, let's do some math just because, you know, you're in the test and you really want to be sure. So we do, we take the 3 grams, we multiply it times 8, the percent here, and then we add that to 7 grams times 18. So you can see again that the 7 is, w is weighing us or getting us closer to the 18. And then we simply find the average. And I'm not really calling it the average. It's not quite the average, but you have 3 here, 7 here, which is a total of 10. And then you do the math. And we get 24 on top right here. And you're going to get 126 there when you have 7 times 18. And that's going to be over 10. That's 150 over 10. And that's... 15% right in the middle. So I did the math way second. I thought I was going to do it first, but then just reasoning through here, it's like, well, look, there's only one answer standing when you when you reason through it intuitively. But again, either way works, and the answer is C.